So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is going to have a mix of trophies from a few different maps from both single player and multiplayer. And we're starting off here in single player on Silver Ridge Peaks where we have a 9 legendary black bear. Now, I have been on and off grinding Black Bear for quite a while now, basically since I got my last Great One Bear, and I've had just so many issues with the Black Bears not showing up until like 10 minutes before the end of their drink zone, and just them being so inconsistent. So seeing a 9 Legendary pop up is always really exciting. This guy's a decent size at 23.18, and honestly, I just wish my Black Bears would be more cooperative. I have been trying really really hard for a long time to try and get these guys to be more consistent. I've tried leaving smaller ones, I've tried shooting everything and I haven't really had much success with anything so far and I keep just trying different things hoping that it will you know change something and they, they'll start working better but it basically feels like I can get a couple of decent runs like once or twice per day and then they just stop like respawning properly it's so weird and like even closing the game doesn't seem to make a huge difference so i really don't know what's up with my bears it also feels like i have a lot less bears than a lot of other people i really just don't know what's up with them and i really hope we do see some changes for the black bear eventually because i think that when they did the changes to srp they really really ruined black bear hunting in my opinion and hunting for a lot of species on this map so i do hope we see some changes but here we have another nice trophy a gold level 7 cinnamon which is a really nice thing to see a really good size rare still don't know how i feel about those guys being made rare and obviously they have been rare for quite a while now but i do wish they had left the different color phases as just uncommons like they were before but moving on to the next clip and we're here on my single player on New England Mountains where I was actually hunting for grey fox in their drink time and I ended up spotting this huge level 5 moose just out here feeding which was a completely unexpected surprise because obviously I wasn't hunting moose and this guy is the big rack so I knew he would be a really really big diamond and it was just cool to see him actually out here feeding. Now picking him up he is a max weight 300 point four zero scoring ball that's a really big diamond moose not quite as big as they can get they can score a bit higher than that and it's not a personal best for me but that is a really really solid very large diamond moose to just find like grazing out here while i was hunting gray fox now moving from New England Mountains over to single player Yukon Valley and we have a very large level 5 plains bison in front of us. Now this is the first level 5 plains bison that I had ever seen and I had literally just come from Hirschfelden from checking out my Euro bison population where I found absolutely nothing even though I checked like most of the map where they can be. And then I came over to Yukon Valley and the first herd at the first lake I checked had this level 5. And I knew I'd made a good shot. You can see his health is dropping. He is aggressive though, which is always really cool to see. But eventually he does topple over. And that's always just really cool to see. I love when the bison go aggressive when they have been shot. They just, the way they posture around and everything, it looks so, so cool to me. But this guy looked pretty big and this was my first time, like I said, seeing a true Rax level 5 plains bison. So I was really, really excited and hoping that this guy would make it. I hadn't hunted the true horns plains bison or euro bison and basically decided that it was time that I went and hunted them because I've been so busy just doing different great one grinds and looking for other trophies that I kind of forgot about the true horns that got added with the last update. And this guy does actually end up making diamond at 184.77 when diamond is now 183.50 so he's a pretty good size he is not huge he they i think they can get quite a bit bigger than this but that is still a really really cool thing my first diamond true racks plains bison really awesome and they look so impressive those horns are huge they look so much better than the old diamond bison 
And this is just a really, really cool harvest for me. Like I said, just with all the other things that have been going on, obviously we got Great One Fallow Deer, we got the new map, Emerald Coast, all of that at the same time. I've just been so preoccupied by all of that other new content that came out that I just hadn't had time to go and hunt for the different new tree racks. And I'm really, really pleased that just on my single player, we had a really nice diamond level five. Now, moving on to the next clip, and we're still here in my single player on Yukon Valley, and I spotted this level 3 Plains Bison that I was pretty darn convinced, even through the snow, was a Melanistic. And as he was running away, I was getting more and more sure that this definitely was a Melanistic, even though it's kind of hard to see. It could have just been one of the darker fur types, but I was pretty confident that that guy actually was a Melanistic. And I was hoping, him being a level 3, that he could possibly be a gold. And running up on him, there's no doubt that that's a Melanistic. And how cool does this look? This jet black bison led in the snow here just is absolutely gorgeous. I was completely captivated by how beautiful the scene was where this bison had actually crashed. This is just stunning. And obviously I had to stop and take a few pictures because this is so beautiful. And I mean, how many times am I ever going to shoot a melanistic plains bison here on Yukon when it's actually snowing? It's certainly something that I've never done before. And I really wanted to get some good pictures to capture this moment because this is just so beautiful. That contrast is just stunning. I absolutely love taking photos like this and getting to experience stuff like this. And I was looking at his horns, they looked pretty decent, but actually looking at them closer up, I wasn't sure that he would be a gold. I was hoping for it with him being a level 3, but seeing those horns up close, I expected him to be a silver, and sure enough, he is a silver at 141.85, which is not a bad size, and honestly... These guys just look so much better, like I said, than the old bison with the old horns, that I'm just super happy to get a rare with the new horns. I think he just looks fantastic. Such a beautiful animal with that jet black, shiny, glossy fur. Really, really stunning. Gold is 155.31, so this guy did miss it by quite a bit. His estimate gave him a chance to make it, but honestly, I, I don't care. That is such a beautiful rare, and I'm so, so happy that I actually managed to actually find him and take him down. Now, sticking with single-player Yukon Valley, and I decided to go and hunt caribou, which is something I haven't done in a while. And I ended up finding this level 3 piebald bull. And I actually really, really like the piebald caribou, and I like the rare caribou in general. It's such a shame that when Yukon released, that all of the rares for caribou were just so common, that they got so devalued, that even now, when you see a rare caribou, it just doesn't, for a lot of people, I feel like, spark the same excitement as some of the other other rares in game but this is a very beautiful looking rare the pattern is almost the exact same as the piebald reindeer that very very dark color and then you have obviously the contrast of the white it looks absolutely fantastic it's so beautiful i really really do like how this looks unfortunately the caribou models are not my favorite the eyes look too small and not very detailed and i just wish that the models overall were better but still a very pretty rare now, moving on to the next clip, and this level 5 caribou took me on a heck of a wild goose chase. I chased this thing for nearly an hour, like it was over 50 minutes of real life time. From the time that I initially spotted him when I was actually hunting grey wolves, and then I had to chase him basically across the map, across the Crimson Plains. He went down into the marshy area, then back up into the Crimson Plains, then sort of towards the river. It was a heck of a chase, as you can see, 5.14 kilometers, but it was all worth it. This is my biggest diamond caribou ever. He is an absolute monster. He beats my previous personal best by nearly 10. He's a 457.14. And he's not even max weight. Like, I can't understand how this guy is not max weight. Truly a giant caribou bull. And I'm so pleased that I actually got to take him down. That whole chase was worth it. I didn't want to reset the time as I didn't have a zone for him. And that chase was just worth it for such a monster caribou. But moving over to Hirschfelden multiplayer for the last few clips of this video, and we have just shot a level 3 
piebald European bison bull. Now, again, being a level 3, I was hoping that this guy might crack gold. Level 3 is normally a silver, but he had an estimate as well where he could make gold, so I was hoping, and he did look to have pretty impressive horns. But I did also know that the European bison look so much bigger than they ever used to. I mean, their horns are massive compared to what they used to be. I mean, this would have been like a diamond size in the past. They honestly are so much more impressive now than they ever used to be. This guy does miss out on gold, but not by a lot, because he's a 109.05, which isn't that far off of gold, but he is a really beautiful bull regardless. Now, these guys are called piebald, but they really should be renamed to leucistic, because this is the exact same leucistic skin as the plains bison have, and it is very clearly a leucistic and not a piebald, so I hope one day that that maybe gets changed. Now, again, sticking with Hirschfelden in multiplayer and hunting Eurobison, and this time we have a level 3 albino. Now, I have only ever shot, I believe, one albino Eurobison, maybe two. I might have had a female at some point, but I know I've only ever had one male. And seeing this guy out here got me so excited. These are so, so rare to come across. You don't see a whole lot of rare European bison, like, in general. And just to see another albino was just so, so cool. Once again, this guy looks to have really, really impressive horns. But like I said, I know that these guys are a lot bigger now than they ever used to be. And unfortunately, this guy also misses out on gold. 107.46, so a little bit smaller than the piebald that we just took down but no less impressive. And even though these are two silver rares, they're both really, really impressive looking and more impressive than the old rares that I have. So gold is 110.01. .01. So both of these level threes basically only missed out by a little bit, but regardless, I'm really not fussed. They are two beautiful rares that I'm extremely grateful that I managed to find. For the final clip of this video, I finally ended up finding a level 5 European bison. I hunted a lot of different servers looking for a level 5, and when I finally spotted this guy, I was so, so excited. Now, he is fleeing here, but the bison flee very slowly and have pretty good-sized lungs, so I felt pretty confident taking that shot as he was actually fleeing. And seeing as this was multiplayer, and multiplayer is very buggy and full of hackers and all kinds of problems at the moment, I decided to take that shot and thankfully it did pay off and you can see he didn't go all that far before he tumbled. When I saw that health dropping I was really really relieved. Taking a shot like that is never something I like to do. I like to take shots when animals are normally alert and still but a shot like that I felt like it was worth the risk because you know like I said they run pretty slow and they've got pretty big lungs and thankfully it did pay off and this guy didn't go very far. Those horns look freaking massive the mass on those horns and the way that they curl back what an impressive ball and he does make diamond at 128.66 my first diamond european bison now he's not even a whole lot over that diamond requirement which is 127.62 but he looks freaking massive like I was saying, the level 3s look almost like the old diamonds. This just doesn't compare to the old diamonds. It is absolutely massive. And I couldn't really have asked for much of a better shot than that. Almost clipping the heart there, which obviously would have been the absolute ideal. But I couldn't be happier with that. That all worked out really, really well. And I was just so excited to get a diamond like i said i did a lot of hunting for these guys over a little period of time trying to get a diamond and i was really really excited when i saw this guy and i'm so glad that he did actually make diamond would have been really unfortunate if he had been a troll being my first level five with the true horns but he did make diamond and he is absolutely gorgeous i love those horns the amount of mass and the way that those horns do actually curl backwards slightly just looks amazing. That is such a majestic and incredible bull, and I could not be happier. 
But that is going to be it for this video. Some animals in here that I'm really, really excited to share with you all. Got really lucky between multiplayer and single player. And now the only new true horn species that I don't have a diamond of is the springbok, which are my least favourite anyway. I really don't actually like their true racks. But the bison true racks, I think, are absolutely fantastic. So I'm really, really pleased that I managed to get a diamond for each of these species. But that is going to be it for this one, like I said. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.